fuck, boy. You like that? You like that? I like that. That is very offensive. Welcome to Tack Lab, where four guys normally get together and sit down and talk about pretty much anything. But for the past four, three or four episodes, we haven't been able to do that. We can, once again, see light at the end of the tunnel. Coronavirus is starting to subside. But what's that? Wait, it's making a reoccurrence over in other parts of Asia and other countries that said that they weren't going to get it or they had a control. They had it under the, they had it on the run. But what do you know? They're getting their ass kicked. They're getting their shit fucking pushed in again. And we're doing the best we can. And we've all managed to stay safe. Or are we? Like Chris just said, or are we? <laughs> or that wasn't Chris. That was the Grim Reaper with his, with his fucking hentai tentacles <laughs> working up your legs, tickling your butthole, ready to insert and lift you up off the ground, up into the air. Like you're on a spike, and he's just gonna leave you there in the air as a and as an example of what not to do in these times. So nice. My name's Tyler. I'm I'm part of this uh, four horsemen uh, that get together every week on Wednesdays and bring you guys some what we think is is the best we got. Uh, yeah. I'm doing well. I've I've really hurt my back lately, but. I'm getting through it. I don't have that strong back like Alex. Speaking of Alex, how's Alex doing over there sipping on his fucking King's Monster Energy drink? I am full of blood and throbbing, ready to fuck this weed up. Rock hard, (laughs) baby. Week up. (laughs) (laughs) Moving on, how's, uh, I'm going to talk to Thomas. How's Thomas doing? I'm doing great. Okay. Really, really fantastic. How's that house sale? shitty but it's it's going it's going that's good it's it's going when you moving uh in may all right i can't so y'all, wait y'all y'all can help me i'll help you i'll and buy then, you a pizza oh fuck you nice <laughs> fucking cheap asshole <laughs> i can't wait to get my garage up and running maybe we can have a there maybe we can have a podcast studio in there yeah have a have a reunion yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll have to hit up your place first because I'm on, I'm about I'm about eight weeks out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Chris, how's Chris's world? I've lost my sense of smell and taste, but other than that, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's onset of COVID. We're, we're going to die. <laughs> well, are you Rona. are you partaking in any drug use prescribed by doctors or non prescribed by doctors? Are you taking Dude. something you shouldn't that might alter yeah. your sense of smell and? taste I, I think i heard our president say you can inject uh disinfectant straight into your bloodstream i was thinking he about said, it i mean i've been i got me a uh one of those vape pens and i've sprayed lysol in it okay. nice that's, that's legit when i did it i could only like no longer feel the left side of my face <laughs> that means it's working okay so just keep at it pretty soon it'll be those. pretty soon it'll be the other side and you'll have both sides not working very well and that that, means- that's when it's cured right that means it's yes. full effect work in the left You'll side of your body. You'll never get sick again. <laughs> the left side of your body is in harmony with the right side of your body. The best thing you can do is take Lysol wipes and stop taking showers, just rub uh. them in your face and in your asshole. Yeah, you, you got to put one up Ooh. there. You got to push a Lysol, a Lysol, uh, what, is, what the fuck am Lysol I Lysol wipe. You got to put a Lysol wipe, push <laughs> that thing up your asshole so it, like, like the alcohol, uh, the alcohol asshole um funnel contest you put an, an a wipe up there and your body absorbs it instantly right into the bloodstream mm, so like doing a beer enema a beer chug yeah, gotcha. a beer ass chug yeah but this is a, a lysol ass um yeah cleanse. call it the the disaffectant mm-hmm. or you could just take lysol liquid and squirt out the 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 juice that's inside of a um one of those bottles that you stick up your ass Squirt that all yeah. out, put Lysol liquid inside of that, and just squirt that up your ass. Hmm. Or you can uh, 
you can drink a thing of Ponsol and your eyeballs will never see coronavirus. I like well, that idea too. <laughs> there's many things that we. This is satire, people. Okay, so we yeah, don't, don't don't do that. We uh, obviously do no one's not. obviously no one's going to listen to us um, because we don't hold that power that Trump does over all the the weak. Hey, we got a fucking, we got a few listeners. If you're out there injecting Lysol into yourself, or even drinking Lysol, or doing Tide Pods, you're you're part of the people that probably wouldn't be missed this natural selection yeah yes so um we're not endorsing any of this so don't so don't do any of that on our account don't 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 no. do any of that on anyone's account but if you do you asked for it and you yeah. you got it you got it what you had coming to you so um that all said this week we're diving Great. deep into some conspiracies right yes or yes. are we? Yeah. Some? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in hard on uh I'm not gonna go in hard. I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go <clears> in <throat> on Alex Jones. I'm gonna soft I'm gonna start out soft and then we might we'll see what we see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, start off soft and let it grow in his mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I like it. That's amazing. So <laughs> um Melton who we spoke of on last week who carried us like going a donkey he's the Mm -hmm. golden jackass that uh that just carried us to the top of the mountain um he he tagged us on facebook and and actually questioned us on calling him a jackass or a donkey um Mm -hmm. yes yes you you are that strong sexual donkey that uh sometimes finds that weird woman who wants to blow the donkey i get it i get it you're a donkey you're trying to find your horse girl so you can make a uh hybrid donkey. together what's the <laughs> jackass donkey? No, a human donkey <laughs> no, well, no what's it what's it called when a uh, donkey and a horse have a right? baby a mule there we go what's it called uh, when a woman and a donkey have a have a have a baby a, sh- a shimule I like I like Tonky better, but anyways, um, yeah, there's there's there's, <laughs> there's always a woman who's who doesn't have enough Depends in her life and needs that little bit of cash to get her through to uh, get her rent paid. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> but you're you're that hung donkey that carries us all. Um, <laughs> but thank you for thank you for shouting us out. Um, and uh and throwing the tack lab name out there we greatly appreciate it let's go all right so that was it for this week as far as our shout outs because we we're 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 uh we're slow rolling on all this but it's it's still it's still worth it for us to 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 wake up every day do countless hours of research and then bring you something great on wednesdays and then thomas puts together an amazing platform i do a little bit of photoshop and alex and chris they do some amazing research and and we all get together and bring it to you so don't forget dog Um, the hour research (laughs) we don't we don't have to literally tell them we're not trying over here and we do (laughs) we do do research like an hour before the episode be transparent (laughs) We check in. I did mine in the ten minutes before the show started. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I probably did too. So, all right. That said, I'm going to get on Alex Jones' some of his worst, the most ridiculous conspiracy theories, um, and some everybody knows about all these. Uh, Dr. the Frog's gay. Buy my buy my silver colloidal and uh, and uh, uh, my body armor. Yeah, the guy. He has body armor. He has body armor. He has meal packages. He has silver colloidal. He has a lot of stuff. He'll actually sell you um, bunker space. Uh, you can you can now uh, rent space, space through him, probably with another company. But he just pushes product at this point and uh, swears Gotta up and down that, that this this is this is to this is to fund the great. Um, what what would you call this news? The the real news, the real the real info. The uh, revolution. Yes. The great In, awakening. The info wars. The war wagon that he bought. You guys see that fucking thing? It's a goddamn tank, and he rides around out of the hatch with a micro with a with a big ass microphone 
a loudspeaker and it just spouts off all of his uh, nonsense in his humongous tank. And that thing probably costs, Whoa. I don't know, half a million dollars. That's where all your silver colloidal and body armor went. Not that that stuff is not being spent well. It's being spent um, ridiculously. Well. I'm surprised he has body armor. Is it like a bulletproof vest or like chain mail or what is this? It's a bulletproof like, vest. You can legally buy and sell oh, uh, body armor. Oh, I mean. I mean, I'm sure. Okay. There's no, no, yeah, there's no restriction. You could buy like, I mean, they go by different levels. You know, a, a first level can stop like a shotgun, like pellets. The second level will shop up, stop up to a 45 round the third level can stop up to a, a 762 or a ak-47 round holy shit dude it's a thousand dollars yeah they Whoa. get pretty pricey those those are the ones that'll stop a heavy round it'll well, break you know, you, it'll break your you fucking ribs armor, though you get the body armor from alex jones if you get a 10 kill streak it'll turn into a juggernaut yeah Did that happened to that guy in canada yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he got he got Molokov t- cocktails when he leveled up. <laughs> um, but you can, I mean, with the right with the right paperwork and the right tax stamps, you can buy fully automatic weapons, fifty caliber sniper rifles, fifty caliber machine guns. Um, you, the sky's the limit. You can buy obviously silencers for any of your weapons with the right tax stamp. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't know this stuff, but. Uh, with yeah, a little, as long as you got the money, the money yeah. and the weight. It, that's it's the other like, thing. It's like fifty thousand dollars to buy an automatic AR. It's ridiculous. Ooh, I thought it was a. I thought it was like a thousand or a two thousand dollar tax stamp, and then you had to buy the weapon, which is well, overpriced. So I don't think. What is 50, it? They 000. can't manufacture them anymore, right? Yeah, they can. They can. It just takes a special tax stamp. It's For a class. It's weapon? a. It's a class three. It's a class three weapon. Oh. I'm pretty sure chat correct us if we're wrong <laughs> no I, I don't know <laughs> alex you got what do you think alex can you buy these things or no sure yeah so it takes it takes a tax stamp to get the silencers and uh class three weapons for fully automatic shit but yeah the government keeps you from this as as uh, as hard as they can but people still do it um, just get a bump stock. That that'll figure out. Everything. Don't get a bump stock. Those are some for some weak shit. That causes skull shootings. <laughs> no, it's just you can do the same thing with your thumb in a belt loop. Well, you could argue <laughs> that a bump stock does not cause school shootings because Sandy Hook was not. I watched the footage, and it looks like a drill. So that said, some of the some of the anyways <laughs> that said. So uh, we'll start Hired with actors. We'll start with that one. So one of well, this is the one that got Alex Jones in big big trouble. Sandy Hook shooting was staged. Um, so in 2012 is when the Sandy Hook were, left 26 dead, including 20 children between six and seven years old. Um, Alex Jones called it a hoax and that it employed crisis actors. Jones claimed that the shooting was completely fake and staged in order to promote more restrictive gun control policies. Earlier this year, families of children who were killed in the shooting sued Jones for defamation, specifically citing comments he made in an April 2007 broadcast titled Sandy Hook Vampires Exposed. And the eight families have sued Jones, claiming that his reports on the Sandy Hook massacre have caused them immense personal pain and led his followers to harass them. So that's actually the big problem. There are followers of Jones that are completely bonkers, completely crazy, and will do anything that he says. Like most insane followers, they go to these, they go to these vic- the victims' houses and they harass them. They call them liars. They put they put stuff in their mailboxes. They nail stuff to their doors. They nail stuff to their fences, and it's it's completely crazy. One guy was actually arrested, um, and so. This is what ended Jones's career on iTunes, Spotify, all the streaming platforms. They won't they they consider him um a terrorist, terroristic uh broadcast. So um that's why he got pulled from the internet. So then he created his own uh website to keep his infowars thing going so you could go to his website and stream and download the episodes, but um so then after after Originally, 